One of the things that, that also I think makes you stand out among not just green cleaners but cleaning companies is, is the innovation you bring to this, again, state old commodity called like laundry detergent. That uh, detergent, yeah, there it is. Um, I mean, I think it's a really interesting case in point. You know, we've all watched over the past five years where laundry detergent went from this big to half the size. It's called 2X compaction, where you, and Walmart really drove that. That technology's been around for a long time, actually. 3X and other, uh, you, know, you, you can actually you know, concentrate it even more. Uh, it went out, Parker & Gamble put it out in the market in the early 90s. Uh, consumers didn't take it because between the big bottle and the small bottle, which did this, even though they did the same number of loads, we're Americans, damn it, we wanted the big one. Yeah. Um, uh, until Walmart said, well, we're not gonna carry the big one anymore, and so we moved to, to, two, to two X. That's eight X. I yeah. mean, I know you, you, you call it the world's first one-handed laundry detergent, yes. but to do that, you had to go through an entire reformulation uh, I mean, you had to rethink. Yeah, we had to invent product. a new green chemistry, an entirely new way of. So, talk about. I mean, what, <laughs> what was that process like? So, without getting into chemistry, which I love to do. Um, uh, so, we have a whiteboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, essentially, laundry detergent is usually, to simplify, detergents dissolved in water. And when you do that, all of the business end of the detergent molecules sort of faces inward, and you have to break them apart and turn them inside out to make the laundry detergent work. Um, that also limits how concentrated you can get it, right? Just like pouring sugar in your coffee, you can only put so much in there before it settles to the bottom. Our technology in this product is the exact opposite. So it is a, a tiny bit of water on the inside of detergents. And that actually has the opposite effect where the business end of the detergent molecules are now f f f facing out. And so the product actually works a lot better. And it's what allows us to kind of break through this ceiling of how concentrated you can get in a laundry detergent to make this 8X. And um, n not only this product, which is the size of a soda can for a couple months worth of laundry detergent, but we've been able to develop a refill for that, which is the first and only laundry refill on the market. I mean, to think of a non-compacted laundry refill would be as big as a chair I'm sitting on um, in, a, in a regular uh, format. And that drastically, like by an order of magnitude, reduces the packaging and water footprint of the use of laundry detergent. And it also does something really amazing through the just simple, just a couple of squirts in your laundry, is it reduces the overuse waste that is a huge problem in the laundry detergent uh, category with people just the glug factor. Yeah, that says four squirts and... <coughs> yeah, you just good. squirt four times yeah. in your laundry. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Eric, I mean, it's, it seems to me that this is a huge communications issue yeah. uh, because you're, you're, you're reteaching people who didn't know they wanted to change the way they use laundry detergent yep. a different way of doing that and otherwise you, all this incredible chemistry and the, I mean you're not going to talk about you know, the business end of, of the detergent and inside out, outside in and all of that. What, did that. what kind of challenge did that present for you? So I mean changing consumer behavior is one of the most difficult things to do. And of all the categories we compete in, laundry is the most difficult. Um, it's hard to get somebody to take a risk on a new laundry detergent. You can be stuck with it for 50 loads. You are putting you know, a fair amount of value when you put a wardrobe into, uh, into a machine. So there's not a lot of people walking around looking for a new laundry detergent right now. And so really going in and trying to disrupt that behavior um, by, by far is not easy. So we've done a couple things. One is I always believe that you should give, a, when you're trying to get people to change behavior, you need to let them know what they're replacing in their life. So we use the jug as the foil. And if you saw a lot of our marketing, it was called Jug Free America and Chuck the Jug, and we had all sorts of, of riffs. Say on no it. to jugs. <coughs> um, don't support your. Are local. you a jug addict? <laughs> this is all part of our campaign. The, and, the laundry jug is the SUV of the consumer products industry. And we'd all very, we'd always photograph this, you know, in front of a jug, which helped communicate the size and what you were getting, but also what you were replacing in your life. And the second was selling and, it. And is that one to one with a big jug, or is that more than a jug's worth? So this is about the size of, well, there's a couple standard formats in the category, but this is one of the standard formats, yeah. essentially, yeah.